All right, so here he is representing New Zealand and, of course, Nigeria. Enter the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. We've certainly enjoyed our time getting to know this young man in our fighter meetings. He has a high fight IQ. He's a thinking man's fighter. And obviously, the physical skills jump off the film every time you watch. Yeah, he's got it all. I mean, the guy has it all. And as you watch him walk to the octagon, he has a confidence in the air about him that many don't possess. He has always known he would become a champion of the world. He proved that he can do it. Now it's time to show whether or not he can do it again. Sometimes getting back is harder than getting there the first time. Let's see what Israel Adesanya can do to try to become the middleweight champion again. And certainly the discipline, the motivation, all that stuff is still there. And there was a definite intensity to him here during fight week. We'll see if he can channel that into the desired result tonight. Well, South Africa is on the world mixed martial arts map, largely courtesy of the elite middleweight, Drakus Duplessis. And he got a lot of respect from his peers after beating Robert Whittaker at UFC 290. You had to look far and wide for any of his fellow fighters to be picking Duplessis going into that fight. And not only did he beat Whittaker, he bludgeoned him and got him out of there by TKO in round two. That laid the foundation for a title fight for Drakus Duplessis. This man is a physical force, hardened by his upbringing in South Africa. Excited to see what he can do with the opportunity tonight, DC. All right, with that, the wait ends here. Both fighters have graced the octagon, and we are raring to go from a sold-out Etihad Arena here in Abu Dhabi, UAE. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last battle bender, Adesanya. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, Dracos Stillman, who Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, one of the best middleweights in the world at present. Drake is too Back to his feet. Oh! Big right hand. Continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. So an outstanding job by him here to secure the takedown early. Stylistically, we wondered how much resistance there would be. Not much on that attempt. Well, it's very difficult to defend with a guy like this, who is so good at chaining those takedown finishes together. Once he gets to your leg, it's very hard to try and deter him from completing a takedown. I mean, these guys are letting him. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fist. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh, and now a big left hand. Now a knee. Oh, that's big. Jab hurt him a little bit. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Uppercut hands. Oh, rocked him, but 
couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he's passed and trying to find that shot again. And now some separation. Adesanya's head kick looked like that one was blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross on. Another one! Oh, he dove and he landed. Oh, big, big shots here. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a little... Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. Going for the arm here. Oh, he's got that arm in tight, DC. to go here in what has been a competitive submission attempts in bunches, another one here. Ooh, that's tight, I'd be tight. It's starting to get really tight in there. Takes his back now. Now he's going full out. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Duplessis. Nice positional control here. Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 56 seconds at the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of